I'm in West Memphis, Arkansas. And I just was at the KFC. I'd had a comment come in or an email come in recently from a driver telling about his experience with R.E. Garrison. And it was kind of thought provoking because, you know, all carriers are concerned about their CSA scores. And supposedly they all work to to keep those CSA scores at a certain point. And you know, the actions of drivers affects a carrier's CSA score. And inaction of carriers also affects the carrier's CSA score. And these CSA scores have a direct impact on your insurance coverage as well. So imagine when Ari Garrison terminates a driver's contract, a lease purchase driver's contract, because he had, quote, 13 HOS violations during his three or four months there. I think it was four months. And when the driver requests a copy of those alleged HOS violations, almost seven months later, he still never gotten them. And, you know, he substantiates all of this with with emails. But here's the thought. Number one, why would any carrier, if, if that was legit, that he had 13 HOS violations in, in just a few months, why would any carrier let it get to that point, number one? Why would they not work together with that driver as each individual occurrence happened to prevent it from happening again? You know, there's just things that I learn about R.E. Garrison and the way they handle things, the way they conduct their business, uh, the way they treat lease purchase guys. Something's just not right. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm really starting to think that the powers that be at Garrison honestly do look at drivers as a renewable resource. They don't give a damn whether you stay with them for a month or a year or 10 years. I think they honestly look at drivers as a renewable resource and that you're a dime a dozen. They're, they've been acquiring smaller carriers recent in, in, in recent months and years, trying to grow into a mega carrier. But oh, what great power it must be to be able to put bad marks on someone's driving record to either prevent them from getting hired on somewhere else or to at least throw up some flags about this person. But it makes it even more peculiar when Garrison does it, but no other carrier has put any kind of marks against that person. I guess that goes to show the caliber of the people in management at R.E. Garrison. It's kind of from what I've learned, both firsthand and through others, it's petty vindictiveness is what it boils down to. But I'm not gonna stoop down to that level, but I have to I have to ask the question, you know, what does it say about the carrier whenever they will allow a driver to have 10, 12, 15, however many violations they say he has within you know, a three or four month period 
that seems pretty odd to me. I don't know of any carrier that would let that many violations go unaddressed. And if they are addressing them, you would think there would be something in writing signed by them, signed by the driver, both. Saying that, you know, this was done, this corrective action was taken or, or whatever. So that, number one, they can substantiate their claims of HOS violations should the need ever arise. But also so that the driver has a written record of it. But that's not the way R.E. Garrison rolls. You know, I can tell you from my own experience when you're dealing with R.E. Garrison, get everything in writing. Take nothing at face value. Be sure you get everything in writing because the time very well may come that you need it. So just just think about that. You guys be safe and I'll see you down the road. Bye.